in one incremental click, so one, two, three, up to 10. This is on free spool, so I'm just gonna leave my spool tension alone. On free spool, What is happening, fish and friends? Welcome to another episode on the Cast King channel. Today we are gonna talk about none other than the Royal Legend Elite. Now we're not gonna talk about just this reel, we're also going to talk about its predecessor, yes, the Royal Legend. This was the reel that started the Cast King movement for a lot of people. This was the first Cast King reel I ever used. You know what, I was pretty impressed with this thing. So today I'm gonna to go through all of the features on the new Royal Legend Elite. We're also gonna talk about how this reel is similar or different from the old Royal Legends. So that way you can look at the two side by side and determine do you think this new Elite is really worth the upgrade? So when you pick up the new Elite reel, it will not take you long to notice the first difference between these two. That is the size. This thing is very pummelable. This is Cast King's first low profile reel. And when you look at these two compared to each other, you can see here on this reel, they've actually recessed this reel foot. They've stuck it up higher in there. They've moved the gears down. They've taken this part of the actual reel body and squished it this way. And they've also done the same thing with the reel this way. They've squished it and made it shorter. So it really fits in your palm easy. If you're somebody like me that palms your reel and the rod comes through here between your fingers, it's a very easy fit. Now, if you're also somebody that has smaller hands, I have, uh, you know, pretty average size hands. I can palm a basketball. But if you're somebody that has smaller hands, this will be a great fit for you. Now, the other advantage of that is this reel sits closer to your rod. I know that was something that some people talked about on the old Royal Edge, and they said, well, it feels like it sits high. It's, you know, kind of a larger body. It's wider this way. Well, they've shrunken that all down. So it's thinner this way. It's thinner when you look at the two compared side to side you can see the height difference there so overall a more compact reel a little bit more ergonomic for quite a few people more of the lower profile size that a lot of people are used to these days now whether you're a righty or a lefty doesn't matter this reel comes in both right and left-handed retrieve the weight is just a tad less on the new elite version this is 7.2 ounces the old royal legend weighed in at 7.5 ounces so just a tad more the drag is quite similar on the elite version it's 17.6 pounds the old Royal Legend was 17.5 pounds. As you can hear there, the star dag does click on this version. In case you wanted it on this one, I have mine cinched down, but yes, it does click on this as well. Now the spool tension does not click on this reel. It doesn't click on either of the Royal Legend versions, but on this one, they have tightened that up. It's a little bit larger uh, nut that screws on here, and it's quite a bit tighter, so it's not something you can accidentally bump. I know that was something that a lot of people really wanted. You know, they want that spool tension knob that clicks, uh, personally, I don't care one way or another if it clicks or not, as long as it stays in place. So far, I've not had any issues fishing this one. Both of these reels do have an 11 plus 1 ball bearing system. And in case you ever forget, you can actually flip over your reel and it does tell you that there's 12 total bearings. In case you ever wanted to know. Now, the nice upgrade with this one is these do have the double shielded ball bearings. So this is a saltwater approved reel. Uh, the old Royal Legend was not saltwater approved. So if you're somebody that likes to uh, mix and match saltwater and freshwater, this would be the one you want to go with. Now, another change that slimmed down the profile on this reel was the line capacity. Again, if we flip this over, you can see here that this reel holds 12 pound mono, 130 yards of that. Now on the old Royal Legend, you can see that there was a bigger spool, 12 pound mono, 165 yards. And that's one of the things that makes this a smaller reel. They don't need such a large spool on here. They shrunk that down a little bit. So that does help to reduce a little weight and makes that nice lower profile reel. Now, if you're wondering how much line this black and red version will bring in, this reel brings in 30.71 inches, which is interesting because this reel is only a 7.0 to 1. However, it had a larger spool. So this reel actually brings in a little bit more, 31 and a half inches per turn. Now, speaking of gear ratio, the black and red version is a 7.3 to 1. One of the new things that they have done with these reels is color coded them to coordinate with the gear ratio. So the fourth speeds that you're able to get are the 5.3 to 1, 6.6 six to 1, 7.3 to 1, and the red faster 8.1 to 1. And they are all color coded for convenience. So if you want the white one, it's going to be a 5.3 to 1. The blue one is 6.6 six to 1. The black is 7.3 to 1. And the red is the 8.1 to 1. And it's a pretty cool thought process behind that idea. You know, a lot of people may have four or five rods that all look the same. If you've got them all laying on your boat deck or all laying next to you while you're bank fishing, the combos can look very similar. So you can look down and know automatically just by the color of the reel exactly which speed you're grabbing. As we continue to move around the reel, you can see that the handles are a little bit different on the new Elite version. Took me a little bit of getting used to. I was used to the EVA handles on these and all the other reels that Cast King had put out. And I like those. I like the EVA handles. But they changed it up a little bit for the Elite version. It's a rubberized handle and I like it. It's pretty tacky. It's sticky. It's not like a hard, you know, slick plastic. It's kind of rubbery. I'm, uh, I'm getting used to it. It took a little bit. I like the EVA, but these are feeling pretty darn comfortable. It's got a nice sturdy aluminum handle and I like the uh, anti-reverse on this one. When you come back, it, it stops right there. 
Definitely digging that. You can also notice a little bit difference on the thumb bar. Now it's got a little bit of stippling there and when you press it, it's a good soft press. It's a good positive click. There's no musher play. That's something I always kind of test. Now as we come around to this side, you can also see another one of the large differences. They changed up the magnetic little uh, lever here that you use to turn. Now, I was kind of skeptical of this at first. I have, you know, not huge fingers, but I'm thinking, man, is this thing going to be hard to get to? There's not much to it. But it's not at all. I just lay my fingers on it sideways here and it turns very easily. I was uh, pretty impressed by that. And these magnetic brakes have some oomph and I'll kind of show you here. So I'm going to take this around and put it on the, the zero. So it goes from zero to 10 in one incremental click. So one, two, three, up to 10. And this is on free spool so I'm just gonna leave my spool tension alone on free spool so it's got a good free spool spin on it now you flip this over this does not have the centrifugal brake so this kind of had a modified centrifugal brake in there so I'm going to show you with just the regular brakes in here just the standard magnetic brakes the difference this makes so that's going from free all the way to max so again I'll show you take that all the way back over free Spin and spin and spin and spin and spin. I'm going to stop it. And then I take that back and click it all the way over to 10. Do the same thing. It's got some good stop and power. I've been playing with these brakes and I am highly impressed. It's easy, just a couple clicks and you're good to go. You don't need the centrifugal brakes inside. Speaking of getting inside here, how do you do that? Well, you can see they've uh, changed the outside here. That's because they've got a little gold wing side plate addition added to these. So to do this, all you need to do is hold your reel tight like so. Switch this little lever, and it's uh, spring assisted there. Pops right open. It's nice. You're not going to lose your side cover. Now I know some people say, well, you know, are there going to be centrifugal brakes in there? Is that the whole reason for this? No, there is not. You don't need the centrifugal brakes. And I tell you what, this is a nice addition just so you don't lose it. We'll bring this out here, and I'm going to show you the difference in the spools as well. So that's the elite spool, and of course the difference with the uh, old standard roll legend. You have the push and turn lever here, so you push that in turn it your side plate comes off and there's where you can see the difference those kind of modified centrifugal brakes you press those in and these little tabs actually put tension or you know a little bit of friction on this part of your spool right here so it's kind of a modified version these don't move as the spool spins they just put friction on that spool as this spins around so it's almost an extension of the spool tension over here so the spools when you look at these two side by side you can see the difference you can see how much smaller this spool is. And that's even a better picture there just to show you. So what that's done by shrinking the spool on the Elite here, it's allowed them to make that body smaller. So you can see there the difference in the spool size to make that body smaller, a little bit lower profile, shrinking that spool down. Take your side plate, put it on and click it in. Pretty simple to go. Same thing works for the new Elite version. You're just gonna take your spool, drop it in there like that and putting it together is easy. Remember it is spring assisted so you want to hold it like that when you turn. Now if you ever have trouble opening or closing this or for somebody that tightens your spool tension a lot, remember that as you tighten the spool tension down it's going to push your spool over that way. So it'll make it just a little bit harder to open that gold wing side plate so you might need to just turn your uh, spool tension down a little bit, loosen it up. Once you've got it together I just hold it Give it a click and you are back together ready. The new Elite version does have an enhanced graphite body and side plate. The uh, the old standard Royal Legend was just a regular graphite, but they've enhanced that a little bit and it does feel pretty rigid, nice and solid. So that's how the two Royal Legend reels compare to each other. I think people will definitely be happy with the upgrades and kind of changes, modifications that they've made to this reel over the old standard reel. Now for the money, this is a hard reel to beat. It's again, the first reel that I picked up and have used, I'm still using it. It's taken a lot of beating and damage. It's scratched, scraped. Um, you know, it's a reel that's been taking the abuse and it's been my flipping and pitching reel ever since. I've already been happy with the new Elite version. Feels good, casts well, smooth on the retrieve. The Gullwing side plate I think is a pretty cool addition. That way you're not going to lose the side plate anywhere. Um, I'm definitely happy with the upgraded magnetic brakes. These are very easy to dial in, very easy to cast. It's a user-friendly reel. You know, if you're somebody that is maybe starting with a bait caster and, ah, you don't know, brake thing, yeah, I'm not really used to it yet. The brakes in here are really easy to use. They're nice and stout, so you shouldn't have an issue getting this baby dialed in. So comment below, let me know what you think of the new Elite version. Is it worth the upgrade? Is this reel worth checking out? What do you think? Comment below and let me know. I know Cast King would love to hear what you have to say. Speaking of Cast King, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so for more product reviews, how-tos, tutorials, whatever it's going to be in the future, just like this one. And until next time...